great transformation is this Thema here. Protesters say they plan to camp out in these igloos all week. Lassen wir uns nicht mehr erzählen, sondern sprechen wir miteinander. Hören wir auf, hier über große Veränderungen zu sprechen, sondern beginnen wir damit jetzt mit einem ersten Schritt hier in diesem Saal. Business is about more than just shareholder value. They're about everything that is in society and they owe responsibilities through that. They find out those responsibilities by interacting with people who represent differing points of view. Putting together 260 sessions with 2,600 people from 100 different nationalities, giving them something in common that they can talk about, that they can contribute to, is not quite as easy as when I was sat on the outside and looked at it and thought, why can't we just flick our fingers and make it happen? Once again, I have the honor and privilege of addressing this gathering of thinkers and doers, movers and shakers, who are in positions to influence the direction that our world will take in the foreseeable future. Unless employers and workers actually sit at the table with governments and redesign the system, then it will continue to fail and nobody will like the social unrest that will follow. Don't think you can just sit on your hands and remain silent. Make your case. If you were to Google inequality six months ago, you'd have found very little. Now it's everywhere the distrust that's there in the air. How do you restore trust? Only with a serious, open, honest dialogue. More than every four business has to justify its role in society. Society is you know, You can do business and yet have a societal impact. All of us are going to have to make some sacrifices. And are we prepared to do it? Who's going to step up and lead and do it? We're taking the bold steps necessary to get back on track. But I believe we need to be bolder still. It is critical that the Eurozone members actually develop a clear, simple firewall so that the financing needs of that zone can actually be met. We are working actively with the private sector to expand energy access, improve efficiency, and ramp up renewables to generate a clean energy revolution. How do you lead? in a world now of two-way conversation. Every leader, every CEO now, is in a two-way conversation. If we cut too many corners, then we ended up creating, in many economies, periods of false prosperity that have come back to haunt us. When we look at the progress that countries have made in the Euro area, it's amazing. If you compare today with even five months ago, I think the Euro area is another world. Conversation is not just hot air, it's important and it's worthwhile and it's something that needs supporting. I don't think there's an occasion when we've had together five leaders of Africa, three presidents and two prime ministers. Developed countries and the developing countries have to help one another by sharing not only their wealth but also technologies and ideas. To have so many business leaders in one of the ideas labs actively trying to help each person try and make the organization a greater success, crystallize the idea that you can do something. It's a commitment of an additional $750 million for Global Fund and so they can immediately uh, use the money and uh, continue to save lives. This is something of a milestone to have this discussion with this extraordinary panel. In order for women who have vision to be able to have impact, it has to be okay for them to have the ambition to lead as well. In any situation where you gather a large number of individuals, you will always get different opinions, different experiences, different dialogues. Davos is all about having that unique dialogue with somebody you would never even meet on a regular basis. And that's the beauty of it.